Right, I know it's been a little while, I can't remember what one I was on, number four or five of an update. But, um, I'm afraid to say I had a bit of a disaster in the going back three Tuesdays ago, or Monday night. Basically, what sort of happened was um, the airline to my pump popped out for some bizarre reason and as a result it nearly wiped the whole of my tank out um, basically I lost all my rummy nose tetras nearly all my cardinals I've only got five now uh, three rummy nose left. I can't remember. We lost about two or three of them because I didn't have a lot. And I think it was one or two corries uh, as well. Um, and obviously the main disaster. I lost all my mobile. I mean, I come down that get ready to go to work. I think it was just at ten past six, and it was just complete carnage in there. I had um, the mold was floating at the top. Um, one was was still alive, but obviously been putting the air on and everything, and it came back, but its swim bladder just totally bloated, and it was just a head on a on a bobbing cork. So I had to put that down with um, some koi calm and put him out on the patio. And she, but it was very very heartbreaking and. Thankfully, the other ones came back very well, and um, so that was a bit of a complete. Uh, anyway, I phoned up. Well, I got them from my, you know, the supplier. I got them from, and went up there on Wednesday. He just gone. Um, just to make sure everything was settled down and that. But, oh, actually, I should say, obviously, then by doing that, I um, upgraded my air pump. As you can see now, I've got a dual outlet one. Um, it's on 24 7 because the first thing I thought was maybe the timer messed up, but it hadn't, it just had popped out. Um, so there's more, even more oxygen going in. Um, But anyway, I managed to get some, which he had a new batch of, or the should say breeding, which are these sort of guys, which are the red pigeon blood. That's it. There's these markings on there. Yeah. And that one's even more striking, I know, the little ones. Not so much scaring them, they do, they do get used to her. So I got two of them, and luckily, even though he didn't say on the phone, he, he had two Marlboros left. <gasps> Which was, because it was beautiful with the orange common casting with all the other ones. And obviously I got a solid blue one there. So I did get... She's frightening him a little bit. Which is a blue diamond, which is at the back. Um, thankfully, my other ones, I sort of come back. They they're looking tremendously healthy. <laughs> Surprise you, though. And on the Tuesday, I mean on the Wednesday, I got them, which is what started to work well. Not so much worry me, but concern me about maybe I don't know about doing this straight away. Was that the two Turks have paired up? And as far as I know, it's male and female. You know, um, but this one. It's definitely a female that she started to lay on that heater. <laughs> but anyway, when I was off, because I've had three days off work, the very next day she'd eaten them anyway, so... I, um... Went up and... I can't remember what now, she's distracting me. <laughs> But no, she had eaten them all, so it was a bit of a sad thing. I was a bit worried about putting some younger ones in there. Um, 
you know, in case there was going to be a bit of disruption in there, but if anything, the blue one's been a bit disrupted to all the old other ones, that's what made me think maybe let's get some more. I may have overstocked because I've been poles by it, as they say, but I now have 11 in there. I know it might be a little bit too much, but we'll see how they all sort of go. They are more shoaling fish and they do like each other's company majority of the time, apart from they've been good as gold now, thankfully. But, um, no, they've all, um, look absolutely lovely. I, um, I'm so pleased with them that that's my, it's actually a red snake skin. I don't know what he's in a bit, but maybe it's because of the camera. Oh, it's because Livy's been around a little one. But they, they do get used to her, and there's one of my Marlboros there. And obviously the red pigeon blood. Ah, oh, that one's come out now, that's good. That one I had to get, it was just one of the most striking ones in there. It was a little on the thinny side, but I'll soon fatten him up. And the one at the back. I think Livy's just spooked him a smidgy bit, that's all. They are quite relaxed and settled in, it might be the camera they're not used to. It's the first time I've stuck it a little bit in their faces. Um, my partner really wanted a blue diamond one because they were so stunning and I must admit with the orange it was just brilliant, you know, before. And he was just heartbreaking and thinking, oh he hasn't got any Marlboro and lo and behold, he did have one or two but I suppose he didn't want people to come all that way and suddenly we haven't got a good collection of them and he got about one or something or other or they might have gone or something silly. So I thought I must have them. That was what I was after. Anyway, the other sort of things I've lost the woods, um, made a lot more space in there. Um, I know I lost that plant, I think, because the air was next to it. It was getting too much oxygen and it started to look a bit ropey in one thing or another, and I thought, let's cut my losses. I lost all my shrimp, but I managed to get some more. But I know they seem to hang around the heaters more, or well, the filter bits more. Um, well, we'll see how we go with these lot. But at the moment, they are standing. I don't know why. There's a beautiful um, female snake skin. But she does get a little bit bullied by some of them. But she's got a beautiful head and she's a good size. She uses a blue snake skin. I think it's the camera might be a little bit spooky. I don't know why they are quite used to it. And that's my little one from before, he's doing really, really well. So these guys always want to be in my face. And the little guys always want. They're very friendly. 